What's up you guys, we got another rapid disc review for you. We're gonna be taking a look at the brand new Axiom Disc Tempo just came out. The numbers on this bad boy are 440 2.5. So I brought my Casaplas yarn out here, four and a half, three, zero, three to compare. We're gonna see if this thing can actually kick the yarn out of my bag. The yarn is just in the summertime heat here in Florida, it's getting a little too soft. Sometimes if I try to give it like crank it on a forehand, it'll just kind of bend in my hand a little bit. Whereas this Proton Soft is, is actually not super gummy. It's a little gummy like I like, but not as gummy. So we're gonna see today if it can take out my yarn. Let's give it a shot. We're gonna throw it uh, flat first, see what it do. Ooh. All right, a little low, but it seemed to have a nice straight push for the fade. Might not be as overstable as the yarn. Let's see, let's throw the yarn and see how it compares. The yarn, I just, I don't know, I don't really use it for backhanded much either, because I feel like, again, I can't really crank on it. It's too soft. Oh yeah, way more stable though. Like, almost as soon as that left my hand, it started to turn, started to fade, whereas the tempo just kind of pushed straight for a lot longer. So like I said, the tempo seemed to go a bit straighter before dumping out of the sky. The yarn you could see really just wanted to dump. We're gonna throw these on some forehand because that's usually what I use the yarn for is mostly just approach shots, short approaches. So we're gonna aim kind of just for that tree out there and just throw them on some forehands. We'll go yarn first this time. Woo! Chopped it over a little bit. That's what I like about the yarn is I know it's always gonna come back even if I do chop it over a little bit. I don't know if this tempo will come back though. There's that chop. Ah, really didn't didn't want to come back nearly as hard. And I have a tendency to chop over my forehands a lot, so that's where I need something really overstable like the yarn. I really like the tempo on a backhand. Feels really good. I, I don't know, I, on backhand I put a little bit more hyzer on my things. So throwing the yarn on a little bit of hyzer, I mean it's just acts super overstable. Whereas this tempo, when I throw it on my stock, stock hyzer throw, does actually still go straight for a bit. I really like that. However, on forehands, not the biggest fan because I like to chop my forehands a lot, or at least I have the tendency to chop my forehands a lot. So I need something really overstable. That's why I kind of stuck away from the zone was because the zone wasn't overstable enough. Maybe I'll just get a yarn in a K1 plastic instead of this K1 soft. Anyway, we're going to throw them on here. Typically, I probably wouldn't throw the yarn on this hole, but we're going to throw it down there anyway and uh, just see if we can get it there. Throw the yarn first. Yarn I know is going to be more stable and it's going to be hard to get there. Oh, I didn't throw it nearly wide enough. See, and that's why I don't throw the yarn on this hole. But I think this tempo will actually go a little bit straighter, and uh, maybe I don't put so much hyzer on it. See, now that didn't really get much good, good ground play there, but I feel like the flight of that is way better for my backhand. Just, um, I don't know, it feels better to me on a backhand, but not so much forehand. Show it to the camera. What are you throwing? Excellent. Hexalator, new hex. There it is. Oh, you guys have seen any of my own other zone clone videos? You guys know I love chopping these things on some forehand, uh, getting them to flex out. Let's see if this tempo will have any stability. Oh, look at that! Went a little far, skipped a little far, but you know, I really like that shot still. Kind of just slowly panned out the whole way. This yarn would, would have probably faded at the end. So we'll see. See how this one does now. I mean, I already know what it's going to do. See, yarn fades at the end. The yarn has enough integrity to even start going right at the end of that. So depends on what you want, really. If you want that, if you want it to hold that turn or you just don't have a really strong forehand, you got, if you like a flip up zone type disc. This is probably going to be the perfect disc for you. So I guess for the big question, will the Tempo replace my yarn in the bag? Probably not. Uh, I think it just needs to be a little bit more stable for me. I really like a really overstable zone-like disc. Not quite zone OS, but something in between. This yarn is right there. Probably just go get a uh, K1 and not a K1 Soft. Because this one's getting a little too gummy out here in the Florida heat. I'm going to throw it on one more hole, see if I can't run it up for an ace. Tempo first. Oh, off the tree? Whoo! Can you imagine? That thing was gonna go straight forever though. It was never gonna fade. 
off the same branch. See, that one definitely fades at the end. Nice dump right to the basket. Not worried about that thing going to the parking lot like I was the tempo. All right, guys, it's going to wrap it up for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what disc you want me to review next, and we'll check it out. But we'll see you guys next time. Peace.